everyone, it's Anya here and I'm back with another video for Ophelia Talks. In this video I'm going to show you how to reduce the neck opening of a poncho with trellis. So Rachel's neck opening was too big, you probably saw the carabiner in the lookbook and now I have the opportunity to make it smaller so I am going to show you in this video how to do that. So yes, indeed, the poncho was too big for my daughter. Um, so as it turned out, we were filming that lookbook there and then, so there was no way I could reduce the neck opening there for her. But I rummaged around in my bag and I found one of these. Now this is one of those carabiners. It was attached to one of my pouches that I always have with me. And yeah, so the carabiner saved the day. So I was able to attach it sort of lower down, reducing the neck opening considerably. And that allowed her to wear it, of course, for the lookbook. And you've probably seen it um, in the lookbook. Uh, but on the other hand, to be honest, I don't mind. This is a good example of what you should do. Um, make a poncho for someone, yes but make sure you get measurements from them, measurements from a uh, garment that they already wear or get them to try it on. So I hadn't had an opportunity for my daughter to try it on. It was risky, I knew that, but I was hoping it would fit, it didn't. So as you can see from some of the footage, in the beginning the poncho fell off her shoulders, so that was not a nice way for us to uh, film this because she was constantly pulling it up. So then I thought, what have I got in my bag? Can I make this smaller? Even a hairpin or a elastic or something would have worked. Um, but luckily I had this, so that saved the day. Um, and now, of course, this gives me the opportunity to make it to the size that she needs. So I've got the measurement here, I've got it sorted. This is what I need to achieve. So I am now going to make sure that I don't lose this measurement so that I can make it exactly the way she needs it to be. So for that I am going to be using some stitch markers and I'm just going to indicate, without undoing this, I'm just going to indicate where this um, is going to have to sort of come together almost. Of course this is on the back so we this is going to shift because with the front but still this is going to give me an idea uh, of the overall opening of the poncho neck opening and this way if I hold this yeah this way I can remove the carabiner but not before I have actually measured so now I'm going to measure making sure that I know, yeah, 19 centimeters there. No, I'm less than 19 there. So I would say 17 centimeters on each side. Yeah, 17 centimeters like this. 17. So four times 17. That would be my neck opening. So I'm going to be making sure I make a note of that, and then when I've finished my reduction, that's what I need to get. So I now can remove my carabiner, which saved the day. <laughs> How do I remove it? Careful, so I don't... Okay. And now, of course, using the same hook as you used for the poncho and the same yarn. Now, I have to say this uh, poncho used up all the yarn that I had in my three balls but I suggest making sure your neck opening is finished before you start your tassels because then you can just adjust the tassels um, to however much yarn you have left over. So let's get started with our slip knot. Insert your hook. And when you get started on doing something like this, you need to find a location where you know where you are. So I'm just going to go along the side, find one of these chain loops, and I'm going to go around there with a standing single crochet, because of course single crochets are what we use to attach 
our loops. So if we start with one, then that's a good thing. Then we were doing chain sixes, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we are going to be doing chain sixes as well. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then of course you go to the next loop and you do your single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, and so on. So you do that until you reach the dip. And yeah, it's on its way. Okay, so I have just placed the single crochet around the loop in front of these here, in front of my dip ones. And to now make sure that we are going to be reducing, we are going to do a single crochet, nothing more, into these, but we will be doing two single crochets together. So we are going to go in, you pull up your loop, then you go into the next one here, you pull up your loop there, so now you have three loops on your hook and now you finish all the three loops. So essentially making two single crochets together. And this has now pulled together these two loops and has reduced our opening. So now we continue one, two, three, four, five and six. And we go to the next loop to the next chain space to place our single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And so you work your way to the other side of the poncho where you will do exactly the same to reduce that neck opening. And I will see you when you have finished your round. So when you're back to where you started. to the end of my round and checking at the work that I've done I have only reduced my neck opening because these are the stitch markers here by a tiny bit and here as well so we need to get sort of at least here on this side to then do the same on this side to have this much reduction because of course we are indicating this on just one side so we are going to do the little trick here of doing half the chain. So I've done six chains. I'm going to undo three of them. And then here we are going to maybe do a treble crochet into that single crochet. There we go. We do a treble crochet and that brings us to the middle of that loop. And now we can continue three, four five and six with doing our trellis and we will be offsetting the loop so that's great three four five six and so single crochet in the next loop one two three four five and six am i there yet no not yet <laughs> okay so now we're nearly there one two three, four, five, six. So here we have those two loops that we are going to take together. So we are going to insert, pull up, then go over to the next loop, insert and pull up and keep your strand tight so you don't get big loops here. Yarn over and pull through the three loops. See, this has reduced that. And now we continue one, two, three, four, five, and six. We go to the next, yep, yeah, there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. And single crochet in the next loop. And of course you're going to do the same thing for the other dip and I will meet you when you have finished this round.
So I have made it to the end of my round. I have done my last chain six because I am going to close my round. You could do another round, uh, but also, you know, take into account how much smaller your neck opening needs to be. So here I am going to go into the top of that treble crochet, going to pick up this V, maybe a little bit lower down so that if I yeah, it doesn't expand. So I tried it. It doesn't expand. And I might just do a slip stitch just to close around neatly. So that is that. Now let me cut this off. My advice would be not to sew these ends in until you've tried it on again. Um, and then here I now have my opening. Look, this is where it should have closed. But of course, we have at the front now reduced as well so I think it's okay so I've sort of reduced here a little bit and then I've reduced that amount on the front so I think these uh, stitch markers will have now have been taken into account and I hope that this will be the opening for her now if it isn't I can still add some more rounds but um, you know for now that's okay so if we measure this now, uh, we have about 17, 18 centimetres. Then we go on to about 35 centimetres there. So I think that opening should be fine for her. Her shoulders are about 40 centimetres like this. So that should be okay. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it was a useful technique for you. And if you need it, you can come back to this video whenever you need to use this particular technique. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.